Greetings. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank yeah, you. My dad and I are huge Star Trek fans. What can you tell me about Cleveland Booker or Book? Is that if that's how he's kind of referred to? What can you tell me about this new character? Well, um, he's a character that's going to introduce the fans um, to the new world of Star Trek, and it's a thousand years into the future. Yes. And um, literally in the first episode, you will see this new world through the lens of Cleveland Booker. Oh, wow. uh, I wouldn't want to say too much about the character because I don't want to give anything away because he is going to be quite um, heavily involved in this new season. But um, as many people have said, <laughs> uh, he, he is going to bring a very interesting dynamic, which we haven't experienced yet in the world of Star Trek. Yeah, I was talking to my dad and I was like, who is this character? And I was like, do you, and I was like, do you know? And he's like, I have no idea. I'm excited to see the show. Um, so, I mean, yeah. you, you've been an actor that has come on to movie sets and shows where there's already been like an established cast there and you're kind of like the new person, you know, with the season. How did the cast kind of embrace you when you started filming with them for season three? They were great. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic, honestly, and it's um, it always feels nice when you can speak genuinely about your fellow cast members. You know, a wonderful bunch of um, of actors, a wonderful bunch of people to work with, both in front of the camera and behind the camera. And um, I think one thing I really enjoyed about this season is getting to work with a cast that were so driven, so focused, so passionate about the work that they do, but then also so willing to have a laugh. I love banter. I love cracking jokes and having fun. You know, it's just one of the things. Yeah, <laughs> I no, like to I, do my spare time. Actually, so one of my favorite. Really like that. Yeah, oh yeah, no. One of my favorite things to talk to actors about is all the behind the scenes stuff and what you guys did behind the scenes after was filming was done. Was you, had a, you had a party. <laughs> uh, all the time. I mean, in between takes, we have a party sometimes. It gets crazy. You know, <laughs> but um, it's important because we 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 do long hours and we spend a lot of time together encouraging each other championing each other and also challenging each other so in and amongst all of that we welcome levity at every which way so i know you can't say too much about your character and probably not too much about the season but is there a particular scene that you enjoyed filming that you personally cannot wait for star trek fans to see you don't have to necessarily give us too many details about the scene but maybe you know, an episode number that it's in or who you were working with, anything like that? Uh, uh, there's a few. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great question. <laughs> there's a few, Lauren. Uh, the first would probably be the first interaction between Cleveland Booker and Michael Burnham. Okay. That scene is pretty epic. And then, um, oh, man, there's a lot to choose from. Uh, jumping forward, I will call this long scene and sequence on the run. Ooh. That's what I can say. And when you watch it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, I love those, it. Those two scenes and sequences, I am very, very excited for everyone to see. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I, I'm excited to watch the episodes and know what you were talking about. So have you guys completed filming season three already? Yeah. Okay. We I wrapped was... season three 10 days before um, we went into lockdown. Wow, that's why I was asking. I didn't know if there was any other episodes that you had to film. So, um, you know, like I said earlier, you know, I've been talking to a lot of actors via Zoom during this time. Of course, I want to be in person doing these interviews, you know, with you guys. But I'm just honestly wondering for you, creatively as an actor, how you've been during this time frame. Are you excited to get back to work, you know, after the state of the world that we're in right now? Are you excited to get back to work? Or are you like, kind of unsure how to get back into work safely in regards to your next things? Because I know you have a couple of things coming up and I don't know if you have something that you're filming sooner than later or if you're going back to film any more episodes of this, but how are you feeling in regards to getting back to work as an actor post COVID? It's, you know, it's, um, uh, the answer's twofold. And I think I'm definitely excited, as you said, and looking forward to being back in a working environment. Um, there are a few things which I'm attached to be working on. I'm really excited to be meeting the, the new um, cast and crew and what have you. But then at the same time, there is a part of embracing a new normal and just being at ease with the, um, the logistics of how a post-COVID set would yeah. be. Or in fact, a COVID-free safe set would be, kind of. 
So, you know, navigating our way around that is going to require patience, um, understanding, and just being a real team player, you know. So I'm looking forward to embracing that so yeah. that hopefully collectively we can all just get on with the work that we need to do. Yeah, no, I love that. Um, so you've worked with some of my favorite filmmakers ever, Christopher Nolan. Yeah, oh, Lewandowski. Yes. I'm, I'm honestly, yes. ju I'm honestly just curious. You know, when you work with someone as epic as you know, Mr. Nolan, do you use anything from him and apply that to your career as an actor? Have you, did you use something you know, learning from him on The Dark Knight that you applied to how you treat you know your roles and stuff? You know, as an actor, what did you learn from? him i um great question i i have fond memories of working on the dark knight with chris Nolan. um and one thing i really appreciate about him as an artist is his attention for detail and the way he runs a set he runs a set and creates an environment where everyone feels inspired to put their best foot forward and to bring their a game you know and he encourages and he welcomes people to operate outside of their comfort zones and take risks and try new things and I think seeing the wonderful late Heath Ledger collaborating with Christopher Nolan on set, I learned so much about their working relationship, about the, the dedication that Heath Ledger had with his work, and then also under the guidance and direction of Christopher Nolan, how well they collaborated together. Mm -hmm. And then I also remember a very specific note that, um, that Christopher Nolan gave me in the scene that I fe featured in, and um, I won't mention it, but it was something that he told me and it has never left me. And I've applied it to everything that I've done. And he probably would never even remember this conversation that we had because for him, it would have been a flippant little thing, but he's so specific and so brilliant. But for me, it was almost everything. And that's one thing I've kind of applied to my work. Wow, I love that answer so much. Have you gotten a chance to see Tenant yet? I have. I watched it uh, a few weeks ago. I need to watch it again. Oh man, it was it was warm. I've seen it's a it. Big I've, movie conceptually. I've seen it three times. I think it took me that times and maybe a couple more times to fully grasp right. that film. Yeah, I spoke right. with Mr. John David Washington a few weeks ago about it, and um, I think he said it took he had to watch it so many times to grasp it as well. Um, but yeah, no, I was just curious what your experience was. Are you are you in London right now? Or England? I am. Okay, I am. so did, I was curious if what your experience was going back to the back to the theater for the first time over there because it was interesting going back here. But mm -hmm. I loved it. I I missed going back to a movie theater so much. It's right? like a happy place, isn't it? It's yeah. just you know. Um, uh, I think watching Tenet was the first time being back in a the movie theater in London. We say cinema. So that's um, <laughs> and uh, just being in that environment and watching this movie was really fulfilling. And like you said, I need to watch it a few more times. But Christopher Nolan is just, you know, he's ahead of his time. And he's just a wonderful um, creative talent. Yeah. And I really enjoyed the movie. I need to watch it again <laughs> to enjoy it more because there were some things that just went pff, way over my head completely through the exposition. Yeah. But nonetheless, it's a, it's a strong film. Yes. Last question for you. How, if you could guess, how many Star Trek little Easter eggs are throughout season three that fans can kind of look forward to? Are there Easter eggs kind of buried for fans that, because I mean, there's so many Star Trek films and shows. Are there yeah. Easter eggs going that are happening throughout your particular season that fans are going to get excited about and, and pick up on? Absolutely. <laughs> like from the first episode. I'm so excited. <laughs> They're just sprinkled all over, like Salt Bay, all over, you know? And they're there. Some are quite subtle, some are easier to pick out, but they're there. And I think it's important. We want to have these touchstones and the essence of what makes Star Trek Star Trek, you know? Yes. So irrespective of being a thousand years into the future, we still have those little nuggets which are littered throughout the season just for nostalgia and just to keep everyone connected with the history of Star Trek. Yes. Well, David, I appreciate your time so much today. I can't wait for the new season. Love Star Trek. Um, you know, love thank your work. I loved, you know, Jupiter Ascending as well. So I'm just saying thank you so much for this interview today. And I appreciate your time. And I'm excited for people to see the new season. I'm excited to see the episodes too. I need to yeah, see the show. Gonna yes, it's going to be juicy. And um, <laughs> yeah, the first episode especially is, um, yeah, you're in for a treat. Okay. I'll see awesome. Thank you so much, David. Like I said, thank I appreciate you your time today.